Hey, how you doing? Uh, today is a beautiful day. Um, as it turns out, oftentimes, most days are beautiful days, uh, though some are harder than the others. And I am doing a video because I want to, because I'm um, compelled to share. Um, and I've been doing a lot of reflection recently as I um, sort of re-enter into the world and I'm still trying to figure out what that really means but I think we're always still trying to figure out what that really means um, and I guess the easiest way to start is to start so um, you know I have gone through a lot over the last six months um, I lost my business um, I lost a job I might have lost some friends, um, but I guess if I lost them, then they might might not have been friends to begin with. <laughs> um, and I'm starting completely new, um, in some ways, and also not in others. And um, you know, I guess that's the crazy thing about moving through life transformation, um, <laughs> or being moved through life transformation. I, right? It's like, what? Who's really in control here? I guess. Um, like that song i remember at one point i posted the song it's like taylor swift you know jesus take the wheel um because sometimes that's what it feels like sometimes it feels like you're not in control but anyways so um you know i wanted to share a little bit about what i'm working on today at least um and start to put stuff out into the world again um i uh, am really interested in right now in digital marketing. I've been doing some research on um, different career paths, uh, different choices that I can make. Um, you know, I spent the last seven years on the service side um, in the accounting industry, and I absolutely enjoyed it. I had a wonderful time. I met amazing people. Um, I'm still in some ways involved in that community, but um, after after, quote, the house burnt down, as I like to say, um, and I sort of watched <laughs> the, watched myself enter into this giant wide open field um, where, really, frankly, I could choose to do anything now um, on one hand. You know, I've started to like to realize that like there's different choices that I can make. I mean, I've known that there have been different choices I can that I could have made, but now like really this, this is one of those moments where I can say, okay, um, I've checked a few things off the list. I've gained certain experiences. Um, I'm now looking at uh, my future um, in, a, in with perhaps a different lens, definitely a different lens, um, and. I guess first and foremost, I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate that I am able to have this perspective. I'm fortunate that I'm able to um, get back up off the ground. It has taken a while. I'm still recovering from um, some pretty traumatic um, life experiences um, over the past six months. Um, everything from the loss of the business to um, struggling with my health, dealing with family issues, which, you know, are what they are, um, friends, um, having life-threatening experiences, um, you know, it's just been, it's been intense, um, but in a good way, uh, in, in a human way, <laughs> at least that's to say I've been able to sort of tap into what this is from the perspective of like being me and being present and being open and being honest and hearing feedback and you know and and asking for support from people that I would have wouldn't have asked uh, for support from um, and challenging myself in ways that frankly I needed to be challenged and um, and reorganizing my priorities which I think has been one of the biggest challenges for me because, um, you know, I was on a path, I thought. I was, like, headed in a positive direction, I thought. Um, but, um, yeah, and maybe I was. And maybe I got dealt a bad hand. 
yes, I definitely got dealt a bad hand. Um, and I lost that game, if it was a game. Um, though that seems sort of belittling to say, or degrading to say in some way. I don't know, that's complicated. But anyway, so the point is, is that, um, you know, part of me sharing today is part of me coming back out into the world and, and, and being open about what my experiences have been. I think and feel like I'm in the place to do that now. I didn't think or feel um, I was in the place to do that um, a few months ago. Um, and to be frank, I you know, have a journey ahead of me. It's gonna be fascinating to see um, what happens with my legal situation. It's gonna be fascinating to see um, what happens with my career. It's gonna be fascinating to see how I maintain my well-being, my mental, physical, and spiritual health. It's going to be fascinating to see um, what I end up making as an artist and as an entrepreneur. I mean, I'm working on the, I've, 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 I'm working. I guess, I guess, I guess, I've been. I'm working on some things right now that I'm hoping will grow into something, and I'm trying to find myself back to some of the things that were important to me. Um, whether they be relationships or projects or values that I was expressing or initiatives that I was trying to push forward and, and to reignite the fire, um, restart, uh, and get back on track. So I guess, you know, what is today? Today's Thursday, right? So like, is this a Thursday throwdown? I don't know. Um, is this a Thursday throwback? Maybe because I feel like, you know, there's some past stuff that's like coming with me here. Um, but that's, you know, maybe it's a Thursday throw forward. I don't know. Um, right. Cause I think it's also about, you know, it's about moving forward. I had I'll share one little thing. I had this amazing experience recently. Part of my recovery has been looking at um, spiritual wisdom to uncover where I'm, where I'm wounded, right? And um, I think I read this amazing article, um, which I might have. Give me one moment here. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, I think I have it. From I think I've mentioned this before. Tricycle, um, great publication, um, and it was called uh, "Healing." It was an article about healing the wounded heart, um, which, yeah, I can relate to that actually. Um, but it was all. There's also an article about in here about creating a confident mind um, and with a beautiful picture of a lion. And I think um, I share that and this text with you because it reminds me of this experience I had um, where I went into this book talk at the store in, um, uh, in DC and heard this Buddhist monk talk about life. And first of all, it was crazy to hear him talk about life in a normal way, because you always think about these like monks or priests or spiritual leaders in like this very sort of metaphysical, uh, removed way. And yet he was talking about like family and having issues with his wife and and dealing with like people on the plane. And I'm thinking like those are such normal human experiences, aren't you? Like transcended and like above all of that and yet he and yet it just goes to speak that he's still a human being and we're all still human beings and um and yeah and ha being able to sort of see that humanity and to realize that actually <laughs> humanity um is one thing and we're all experiencing it together um and there are definitely some high points and definitely some low points. Um, and we have the opportunity to deal with it. And, um, but not, not to deal with it in like a negative way, um, but to deal with it in sort of a, a, a purposeful, um, compassionate, uh, nurturing, conscious, mindful um, way that sort of brings us all together and allows for us as people to keep moving forward. And so um, 
yeah, so, you know, I'm sharing that because I think that's the beginning of the story. Um, and I don't know what the rest of the story is going to look like because, uh, frankly, it's still writing itself at the moment. Um, but I uh, welcome questions. Um, I welcome comments. I welcome feedback. Um, I welcome curiosity. Uh, curiosity might have killed the cat, but the cat's still back, honey. Um, or the cat's back. Yeah. Oh, kid a kid cat, but now I'm a lion. Uh, which is cool. Um, because that has, you know, because it's also a story about finding your way back, finding your way forward, um, and exploring the journey with other people. Because that's what it's about. So, ciao!